everyone, Mrs. Gerber here with another library lesson. Last time we learned all the steps of the engineering design process. Today you're going to start putting those steps in action. So we are going to be starting the engineering design process that was sent home with you uh, for the in-person students. And remember remote students, it was sitting out front for you right in the front entrance that you should have picked it up. If you don't have it or don't have a way to get it, that's okay. We can do it virtually and just use the materials we have at home. We're going to start first by doing the first three steps. We're going to be doing ask, imagine, and plan today. The first three steps of the engineering design process. And to kick it off, we're gonna be reading a book called Gingerbread Fred. And as we're listening to this story, see if you can figure out what is Gingerbread Fred's problem. There's gonna be a huge problem at the very end of it. Let's see if we can figure out what it is and come up with a solution to his problem. Welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Ready to read The Gingerbread Man, level one. Illustrations by Sarah Baker. This is the story of Gingerbread Fred. You can read it in a chair or read it in bed. Or you can get someone else to read it instead. There's something else. Can you guess what? On every page, there's a mouse to spot. One day, a baker and his wife make a gingerbread man who comes to life. They name him Fred. Don't go out, they say. You are a cookie. You are yummy to, to eat. Now, children, have a look. Can you spot the mouse? But Fred runs out the door, and Fred says, Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Fred reaches a garden. There is a cat in the flowers. Meow, says the cat. Here comes breakfast, but Fred starts to skate, and Fred says, Skate, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Fred reaches a farm. There is a dog in the barn. Woof, says the dog. It must be lunchtime. But Fred starts to ride, and Fred says, Ride, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Fred reaches a river. A fox is sitting on the grass. Jump on my back, says the fox. I will take you across. Fred rides on the fox's back, and Fred says, Swim, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The water gets higher and higher. Move up and sit on my nose, says the fox. They reach the other side. Fred says, goodbye. Wait, says the fox. Would you like to fly? The fox throws Fred high in the air. And Fred says, fly, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the crunch, crunch, munch. The fox eats Fred. For lunch. Here is what the kit looks like that you should have received and in there is this engineer's notebook. Uh, now this notebook is also going to be in Seesaw that I'll show you in just a little bit but you can use the actual pages if you want here. So your name can go right down here. You are the junior engineer. And let's take a look at the first page here. So notice at the top it says, I ask. That's the first stage that we can't just jump right into creating. We have to ask questions and make sure we fully understand the challenge. So it says, what is the problem? And that's going to go right in this box that you're going to draw or write in this box what the problem is. So think back to Gingerbread Fred what happened in that story? Did you just think or say he got eaten? Yes, that's the problem that Gingerbread Fred was 
eaten by that fox, right? That was a big problem and a really bad ending. Now the next question here says, what is my challenge? So your challenge here, you can see there's a clue in this picture. Um, your challenge, we don't want Gingerbread Fred to have to take a ride on the fox. He needs a new way to get across the water. So that is the challenge. Can you build and design something that would get Gingerbread Fred across the water? Okay. Now, what you're gonna do from there, you can see on the next page here, you have this sketch. This is where you get to sketch out. It could be one big design in the middle. It could be a couple different designs if you have a couple different ideas, okay? And this is where it says, I design. This is the planning phase of it, where you imagine all the possibilities and sketch it out on this page, okay? Now, you have to think about then, once you have that sketch of what it's going to look like, is it going to be like a sailboat style? Could it be a raft? Could it be something like that that could get him across the water? What would it look like? And this is the last page we'll be doing today. We won't actually be building today. We're going to make a list of needs, the materials you definitely need, and wants. This is the stuff that you don't necessarily need to build it, but it would be cool to have on it. So if we take a look in your kit here, you can see that um, you do have six popsicle sticks. If you wanted to use popsicle sticks, think about what you could do if they you know, were crisscrossed or if they were all together, lined up. You also have straws, again, that you could use all of them. What would happen if you cut them into smaller pieces? put them all together or crisscrossed them? Could one be used maybe as a sail? You also have two pieces of foil. What could be done with the foil if we shaped it and molded it? Could we use some of these stronger wood pieces as reinforcement? And then you also have some pieces of construction paper. Those could be used to shape a boat. They could be used to make a sail. And you do have, I know this is not the greatest, this is not very good quality tape. You can see it's kind of small. It was smaller than Mrs. Gerber hoped. Um, so if you have other tape at home, if you have masking tape or if you have um, clear tape, at home or wherever you're at, if you can ask the teacher if you're at a daycare, um, that might be better than this. But if you're in a pinch, this type of tape will work, okay? So you do not have to use just these materials. If you have other materials where you're at, if you have other materials at home, um, if you wanted to pull in a cup or a bowl, or like a plastic cup, um, a container or a recyclable or a carton, anything like that, you can definitely pull that into the sky is the limit. Same with once here. Once might be ways that you want to decorate it. Maybe you'd love to put glitter on yours if you had glitter at home or maybe you would love to put paint to decorate it too. That's really up to you. And needs are the stuff that we definitely need to build it. Like we definitely are going to need something to stick it together like tape, okay? So whatever you want to build the majority of it out of, okay? Now, we're not doing this page yet. We're not gonna test it out yet because we're not building it yet. So these pages are not going to be done yet. Just the first one, this one, this one, and this one, just the first three steps here. Ask, imagine, and plan, okay? Let's take a look at what this looks like in Seesaw and how we're actually going to submit this. Here I am in Seesaw, so I'm gonna click the green add response button here, and you're going to see those same three pages from your engineer's notebook. Now, if you wanted to do it in Seesaw, you can use these pages, or if you're not sure where your kid is, you can use these pages. You could use the pen tool to draw or the text box um, tool to type and hitting the little quotation mark down here, you'll see a recording from me that I actually read again and explain what to do on that page. You can see there's three pages here, the problem and the challenge, uh, sketching out your design, and then making a list of the things you definitely need, materials you need, um, or things you want, using anything from the kit if you want, or things from home. Now, if you would rather use the actual kit you have, then you would hit the camera button here. 
and go to photo. And then you would turn to the actual page and you would just snap a picture. There we go. You would just snap a picture of it. Of course, mine's not filled out yet, so I wouldn't snap a picture of it yet, but um, if you had it, there you go. You'd snap a picture of it and then you can, you know, choose this right here to turn it so it's the right direction. There we go. <laughs> and now I can just stretch it out right over top of that page, okay? You don't have to use that one I put in there. You can just use the photo of it. Okay, same with the rest of these pages too. You can either do a rate and seesaw or use the notebook I gave you. You have a choice this time. Once you're all done with those three pages, asking, imagining, and planning out your design, you're going to hit the green check and you are done for today. Next class is when we get to the fun part. We actually start creating.